Good afternoon. You're looking at 62 eastbound as crews continue plowing those roads. You can see uh, there's a problem on the side of the road and it's one lane in that small area there. Something we've seen all over the metro today. Some places are more clear than others, but just a reminder to go slow and be alert. If you have to drive today or tomorrow, we're in the second of three straight weather warm days. And while the snow is gone from the system, you're definitely feeling the freezing cold today. So glad you could join us here at noon. Let's get to Guy. He's in the backyard. Guy, snow, cold, and wind. We got rid of the snow for a short time. Yeah, now it's all about the wind on this afternoon. A little gusty back here in the Care 11 yard, but I'm going to track out when we'll find the strongest winds. This snow, again, very light, fluffy, so it doesn't take much to get this snow lofted up and blown around. Let's get to the graphics. How much snow fell yesterday, and you'll see MSP leading the pack. Uh, you'll see just over eight inches, and the rest of us, anywhere between, I'd say, a three was probably on the lowest end to around six inches were more common spots. Shanahan right around seven inches. That's to go 6.3. Maple Plain six inches. St. Cloud five. Northeast Minneapolis just had around four and a half inches of snow. All right, now all that snow getting ready to create some blizzard conditions. You can see the counties highlighted in orange under that blizzard warning with wind chill warnings overlaying that winter storm warnings, including Hennepin Ramsey. Now just into West Metro, South Metro, that's where you have blizzard conditions on the way. And I'm going to track that out because today we're going to find the strongest winds, mainly over far western Minnesota. Now watch this. Pay attention to those purple and red contour colors here. I'm going to put a stop at this afternoon, 4 o'clock. Notice again, still near Minnesota River, uh, Alexandria area. Now watch this tonight. You see those purple uh, colors indicating the stronger wind gust, 2 a.m. And then this is going to be this uh, case scenario all day tomorrow, 9 a.m. We're talking about widespread 45 plus uh, mile per hour wind gusts uh, starting tomorrow. And then that's just going to be all day. So expect low visibility and difficult travel throughout the day come tomorrow. Also, wind chill is going to play a factor. Obviously, so you have frigid air in place. Mix that in with 45 mile per hour wind gusts. It's going to feel like 30 below, 45 below. And right now you got 29 below uh, feel like in the Twin Cities. Southward, you're finding 42 below there feel like in Laverne. So temperatures, wind chills throughout the day. Yeah, just get ready for that. Really not the day to be out. But if you do, obviously we have stuff to do. Some folks shoveling layers up uh, layered up you'll be fine I've been out here uh, so far I'm doing a okay just do uh, it's in my thick coat out here and I'm layered up so a weather worn day today and tomorrow due to blowing snow so we're done with the accumulating snow and uh, the wind chill don't forget that that's still very important as well dangerously low wind chills here's your seven day forecast once we shake the cold come Christmas Day cold and bright, but at least temperatures are above zero. Chris, slow warm up into next week. Yeah, that's going to seem tropical. OK, thanks a lot for that guy. Let's check in with MSP. They are telling us today and tomorrow are their busiest traveling days of the week. 33,000 people are taking off through Friday night. At last check, 64 flights out of MSP were canceled and 36 have been delayed. Make sure to check the status of your flight before you head to the airport this afternoon. It's especially tricky traveling for the holidays with this storm. We've put together a list of helpful information to track road conditions and flight delays, as well as the latest CARE 11 forecast and live radar. All you have to do is text the word TRAVEL to 763-797-7215, and we'll send you a link back. Remember to text that number. Don't call it. Make sure to download the CARE 11 weather app as well. You can get personalized forecasts, weather alerts, and check the live radar anytime you like. It's free in every app store. While you're trying to stay warm at home, be careful not to accidentally raise your energy bill. Today, we're working to find out how you can save energy and money while keeping warm. Heidi Wigdahl will bring answers to you tonight at 5. We'll also have more news and weather for you later this hour.